Silver service is something that people often really worry about doing and they just don't think they're going to be able to do it. But it's actually very simple. The real skill is just holding your spoon and fork correctly. So what you have is like this. It needs to go over the little finger, then under, so it needs to go over, under, over, like that. With the bowl of the spoon facing towards the thumb. And then that should allow you with these two pinchy fingers left to grab the fork, okay? So the fork then sits in your hand. Now today I'd like to talk to you about silver service and just show you my top five tips to make sure you do a great silver service. These are five things that people get wrong all the time. And they're actually very simple, really elementary problems that there's no reason for people to get wrong. Okay, so here I am, I'm at the very, very beautiful dining room here at Candor Craig, and it seems to be a very fitting place to show you how to do a beautiful service. So this is going to be my flat, obviously there's nothing on it. So mistake number one, I see this all the time, and that's trying to serve too high. People are like, have the food here, and they literally try and silver serve down onto the plate. This is a very risky move. Even if you do get away with it, you won't get away with it for long. You will end up spilling stuff all over the guests, and that's basically worst case scenario when it comes to silver service. Bring the flat right down so that the edge of it is just about overlapping the plate. Maybe by as little as a millimeter, it doesn't need to be much, but just overlapping the edge of the plate. Keep it flat, bend down, and then serve like that. So that's my number one tip. Number two, don't burn the guest. Sounds obvious, but it's very important. This guest may well have bare arms, could be a lady in a dress, something like that. It would be very easy just to touch them with this really hot silver flat that may well have been in the oven. So be careful, especially if you've got high chairs like these. You can see with these high chairs, there's not a lot of space. You know, you've got to try and get yourself in and you've got to serve like this. It's very difficult. Make sure you've got space. When you're laying the table, make sure you allow space. See where I've just moved? To get in there, bend down safely and serve, okay? Make sure you've got space before you even start. Next one that's nearly as important as not burning the guest, that's don't burn yourself. These flats tend to be very hot. What you need to do is make yourself a nice folded napkin that's as long as needs be for the size of the flat down your arm and that's gonna protect you from the heat going through. Remember, make sure that whatever napkin you're using is bone dry because if it's wet, the heat is gonna pass through it. Number four, use your common sense. Now, I know the correct etiquette is to continue piling food onto the plate of the guest until they specifically tell you to stop. But of course, this guest may well not know that. So, put an appropriate amount of food on the plate, the approximate size that chef has told you they have allowed per guest, then look at the guest to see if you can catch their eye, to see if that's enough. If they're in a deep conversation with another guest, do not interrupt. I think at that point you can assume it's the correct amount. If you're not interrupting them, just check. Is that okay for you, sir? 
is that enough for you, madam? Words to that effect, just to make sure they're happy with what they've got. Now, my last tip, this you're gonna laugh at, but I have seen it happen many times, where the butlers or the waiters or whoever come out of the kitchen with their wonderful flats full of food into the room just to realize that they've not actually put the plates down in front of the guests. These plates, assuming you're serving warm food, these plates should be hot and they need to be placed in front of the guests just before the food comes out. I hope those five little tips will be useful for you. I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.